Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to hop on here today to talk about a topic that is in response to Markiplier's YouTube video, YouTube Has Changed. I never thought I would actually talk about a Markiplier video because I'm just not a fan of the guy, but I think he's done pretty good as far as like his charity work and stuff like that, and that's pretty cool of him. Plus, you know, I mean, his success is clearly earned. I can't hate on the guy, right? I'm just not a fan of his work, I don't really care for his style of videos, but if he did more videos like the YouTube has changed video, I might actually watch the guy, you know? But anyways, um, I really thought he brought some really interesting and solid points uh, for his whole YouTube has changed thing, and it's really interesting to see what he said because he's only been... If I understand, his YouTube channel started like four years ago, something like that. I think he actually said in his video that this month would be his fourth year on YouTube. And I've been around on YouTube for quite a bit longer. Actually, this would be my ninth year on YouTube. I actually started back in April of 2007. Which actually, technically, I didn't upload my first video until July of 07. But anyways, that's besides the point, right? So YouTube really has changed quite a lot over the years. So much stuff has happened. I mean... Anybody that's been around forever, you guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Everything from the layout of the site, to the way the site operates, the way copyrights work, monetization, uh, the type of content we've seen promoted, the categories. There's been so much that's changed on the website. YouTube does not resemble even an iota of what it did back in 2007 or 2006, you know. Those eras when a lot of the um, YouTubers started, you know, essentially, you know, like some of the original people. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, the, the shape of YouTube has changed a lot with the way video trends and things like that work now, the type of content we see. I remember back in the day when music videos and things like that were pretty much barely existent because usually when they get uploaded, they get copyright claimed by Viacom and you get a whole big mess from that, right? But, uh, Nowadays, they're really celebrated. As a matter of fact, YouTube is pretty much one of the only places you can really regularly watch music videos. Uh, maybe CMT if you're a country music fan or something, but you know, get the point. You know, things have changed quite a bit uh, with the site, and uh, not all the changes, unfortunately, for the better. Now, I know that uh, Markiplier's video might have been somewhat in response to the whole YouTube drama. I know he didn't really speak about drama necessarily. Um, but, you know, one thing that really, uh, I really wanted to talk about was how YouTube has changed, you know, because a lot of people love to blame Google. You know, I know I love to blame Google. Or some people might like to blame big YouTubers just like him for changing this website for the worse and making it all terrible and unwatchable and all this good stuff like some people might say. But really... They're only a part of the problem. Actually, there is a much bigger part of the problem. And if you're wondering, just look at the mirror. It's us. We're the problem. We're the reason why YouTube has changed, essentially. Because the audience has changed on YouTube. I mean, you gotta think about when 2006, 2007 was around, a lot of YouTubers were at least in their teenage years, if not a bit older. Some of us actually remembered a time when there was not a video sharing website. <laughs> you know, what an amazing concept that is. We had to watch TV to watch video? What the hell is this? Right? But, uh, you know, things have changed quite a bit. Now we're getting to a point where there's some YouTubers that have existed pretty much all of their lives with having YouTube or something similar, at least, available you know, a community-driven video site. And the way that they're going to handle this kind of content is going to be different from the way we do. You know, see, people like myself, I tend to think that I really relish in the community aspects of YouTube. I mean, obviously, we're not perfect. You know, we all make our mistakes and things like that. And that's just part of life, right? But, uh, you know, I try to do my best to stay in touch with you know, all my friends on YouTube and acquaintances and so on, you know, watch their videos, comment, like, you know, just see how they're doing, you know, and uh, 
unfortunately, not a lot of people are like that anymore. Um, now, some of it is, you know, outside of their control. Maybe they're just too busy with their lives. You know, they got married, had kids, got a fancy job, you know, so on. Right? And, you know, so they just don't have the time to dedicate like they used to. And that's bound to happen. And some of it is the fact that, you know, we have these new audiences that don't really react in the same way that some of the older YouTubers do with the community site. They don't really see YouTube as a community. Uh, more so, they see it as a source of media consumption, just like Netflix and things of that nature. Uh, they use it in a more passive way. Um, you know, they subscribe to big channels like Markiplier and PewDiePie and so on, just like they would you know, watch cable channels or uh, shows on Amazon Prime or, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, they that's just the way they are. You know, that's the way they consume that media. And they don't really have the same drive or instinct to preserve the community aspects that we do. And that's going to be kind of on all of us, you know, to change this around. Because you got to think, you know, the way the site has changed, it's more or less been because the audience has changed and uh, not necessarily for the better and that's that's kind of sad to see i mean i've got almost 1500 subs at this point and i don't get a f i don't i barely get a fraction of the views that i used to when i only had 100 subs back in 2008 or so uh so you know things have changed drastically on the website and not really for the better you know it's kind of a shame uh, to see how things have evolved but it is what it is, right? I mean, that's that's what we got to keep in nature, and we got to work together as a community. You've got to support your fellow friends and family members and colleagues and acquaintances and neighbors and all these other people, co-workers. You know, you got to support their YouTube content. You know, whether it's um, you know, I mean, obviously, if it's something that you don't care about, you should at least give them some moral support. Like, hey, you know, at least give them the sub. If nothing else, you know, just let them know, hey, you know, I'm thinking about you. I, you know, like what you do. Maybe I don't watch it all the time, right? But it happens, right? We're going to all have dead subs. But we need to start supporting each other. You know, I try to do what I can, but like I said, I'm not perfect myself. I've got my own faults, and I would like to change that. Actually, um, in order to help with this, you know, any of my uh, viewers and subscribers that want to be part of an initiative to, you know, basically bring YouTube back to a community platform where we actually share and explore together and, uh, you know, grow together as a community. Uh, I wanted to share a couple of Facebook uh, groups that in the description below, uh, I post on there is my real name, Justin Beard. So don't forget to uh, check some of those out. And, uh, you know, let's see everybody's community-driven content together. Let's share and explore and create together. Um, after all, you know, one day somebody's going to have to take the mantle from someone like Markiplier, you know, one of the top YouTubers. Eventually, there's going to be a point where he either retires or, I don't know, it'd be really weird thinking Markiplier would be doing Let's Play videos until he's 60 or so and then retire. Well, obviously, he could retire a lot sooner because he makes a killing. But uh, you, you know what I mean. Like, eventually there's going to come to a point where he's going to be like, okay, this is it. I'm done. And somebody's got to take the mantle. And if we don't make the changes that we need to as a community to help it grow in a natural way, to let the trends and whatnot grow in a natural way so that somebody that is deserving of that mantle gets it instead of someone that follows a specific formulaic approach like google wants you know someone that follows approach that's specifically designed to drive the most revenue possible then you know what we might have a shot at making youtube great again right that's uh, a good hashtag make youtube great again oh wait that's um same hashtag as some other person that does not very popular uses in a slight variation but okay anyways that's all i've got time um like i said um we got to work together if we want to change youtube for the better so till then down phoenix out